So, welcome back, and this time we're doing stack 6. And I had some trouble on previously with the find function in GDB, so I'm recording this again. But we are going to do um, a red to libc this, this time. And we have um, a small program given again. It's very similar to last time, as always, but this time it pretty much gets checked if the return address we have written is a stack address. And if it is a stack address, then we get this bzzz. And if it's not a stack address, then we solved it. So yeah, let's get right into it. And for that, let's just copy the code we have written last time for the stack, um, stack five. Let's prepare the exploit first. So we have an idea what we're doing. So for the padding, um, we need to adjust it by um, four bytes because an integer is four bytes and um, we need to add that to our padding. And that works then, I've tested that before. <laughs> The shell code we don't need that anymore, and the knob slide we don't need that anymore either. So let's add four bytes again first. And now we need to replace this one. So what we want to do, um, is a return to libc. So we want to return to um, a function in defined in the libc binary uh, library, and that will be um, will be system because system is used to execute shell commands. So we need to return to the system function. And for that, we need a system function pointer. And also what we need is um, the argument, meaning a pointer to a string, um, which would be a command that we want to execute. And we want to execute um, bin sh. So we want to find a pointer to a string with the contents of bin sh. So we leave that blank for now as well because we want to find that. And then we also need a return address um, system can return to. Um, if we imagine um, in assembler, we first push our arguments. So this is um, pseudo code right now. And after that, we have a call to system. And that um, call instruction would then um, also push um, the return address of the next instruction to the stack, um, which is why we have to do that as well, to call it correctly. Uh, 
um, we don't really have to care where it returns to. Of course, we could return to the end of main to exit the program gracefully, but um, in this example, we really just care about getting a shell. So we're going with dead beef here. And that should really be it. So what we want is padding. Then we want to jump to or call the um, system function. Um, after that, we have to put the um, return address on the stack. And after that, we can supply arguments for the system function, which would be the binsh pointer. And with that, we should have a working exploit. We only need to find um, these two locations. So let's do that. Second, what have we done wrong? Stack six. And we want to break main. No symbol table is loaded. One second. Of course, we are wrong directory. So let's go there first. And now it's loaded, so let's go through this again. Okay, now we can find where system was loaded to. And we want to first save this as system pointer into our script. So we have it later when we need it. Now what we have to do is to find the offset of um, a defined string that um, says bin is h in libc. So for that Want to T and 
he wanted a, a sexodecimal. And what we want to find is Dennis H. Of course not. And of course we don't want to search it in stack six, but we want to search it in the C binary. And this is a dynamic, dynamically loaded library, so it's not uh, in the binary, of course. So now that should be the correct one. So. Let's save this one as well. Now all we um, have to do now is to find where um, libc gets loaded to. And for that, we need to um, set a breakpoint again. Because we need to find it at runtime. So now we can find all the modules that were loaded with info proc map. And as we can see, libc got loaded right here. We want to have the start address of that. That should really be it. Now we should be able to finish our script. And System pointer is this one. So we just need to include it right here. Let's paste it in. Finish H is um, the libc address. Um, plus beginner's age offset is this one. And with that, we should be set. So let's get rid of these lines right here. And 
Let's check if it gives the correct output, and it looks like it. So, let's test it. please and we have a shell great so that was it for this time again and see you next time